first day. Yeah, yeah, it um, it's exciting, you know, um, you know, being being from here and watching the tradition over the years, um, you know, and then be able to be out here, be in the building, you know, see all the numbers up there, uh, you know, it's just it, it's pride. Uh, LeBron talked uh, pretty warmly about you even before you showed up. What's it what's it like to um, not be suiting up against him and be his teammate? I mean, you know, LeBron is, is uh, you know, the greatest player of, of our generation. Um, so to be able to lace him up with him, um, you know, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, like I told him, I'm going to follow his lead. You know, uh, he's an incredible leader. I'm looking forward to, you know, adding to that, um, you know, and trying to get this thing started. Now, how did this come about? You know, honestly, I was... Uh, I was just as shocked, you know, that, um, that that this was able to happen this early in the season. Um, I figured that this was going to happen this year, um, but I, I thought it would happen, you know, maybe uh, February, March. Um, but, you know, it, it's such a blessing for it to happen now because, you know, I get an opportunity to come in, get in early, you know, get some momentum. Guys get to learn me. I get to learn them, you know, because when you spend a whole year like that and then you come last minute and then you got – you know, five, six weeks to try to get together and get right before the playoffs. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, I'm glad that it happened right now because it gives me a lot more time to get acclimated. And it's like, you know, I get to go through the whole year with the team. When you say you figured that this would happen, do you mean with the Lakers? Uh, no, not necessarily the Lakers, but, you know, um, when I figured, you know, if things didn't go right, it would be my final year in Phoenix, you know, especially in the, the final year of my contract. Um, but, you know, when, when things came up and, you know, I looked at the teams, you know, I, I couldn't honestly pass up this opportunity, you know, um, you know and, and be a part of something that I feel like is going to be great. Tyson, when you see the Lakers defense, what areas do you see that they kind of need help in and what have they been maybe struggling with? You know, I, I see the work ethic is there, you know. They're, they're, they're flying all over the place, you know. Um, and if you got that, you can, you can build on that. You know, for me, it's just about communicating with them and, and making them feel comfortable with what they're doing out there and then finishing possessions, you know. Because um, if you put all that energy out there and you don't finish possession by getting a rebound and limiting them to one shot, your defense is working too hard, you know. And with the way these boys run, you know, we give them one shot and then get out and run, you know, that's when things become fun. What have you thought about uh, JaVale this season? He's been playing great, you know. Um, when I saw him when we when uh, when when I was with Phoenix and you know and we and we played against uh, the Lakers, you know the way he was moving up and down the court, you know finishing at the rim, blocking shots. Uh, I think you know the last couple of years been in a championship environment has really helped him. Uh, I've seen him grow and mature as a player, and uh, I mean he's been doing great to be quite honest in the starting lineup. Tyson, there's only so many guys who've been in the league for the entirety of LeBron's career anymore. Yeah. When you've seen him kind of the whole the whole way, was there has there been like a curiosity of what it would like be like to play with him, or did you know at some point you hoped to before your own career ended? You know, you, you never know with uh, you know, with how things go. But of course, you always like you know, you see a great player like that, you're like, you know, I love to I love to play with him, especially. You know, we've had times with uh, Team USA. Um, you know, and then you know, you build chemistry through the summer, and and you know, I've honestly just been in awe of what he's been able to do. Um, you know, and and, uh, and and create, you know, not only on the court and just meeting all expectations and going beyond expectation. So you can't do nothing but, you know, respect that. And and, and if you have the opportunity, you know, want to be a part of it. You had some tough final years in Phoenix. I mean, what is it just like? And, and what does it feel like to, to walk into a building where the team has expectations? You know, it, it's, it's, I honestly can't describe the feeling, you know, just, you know, my journey just gets, you know, running just to shoot around, you know, just because you see guys and, and you feel the buzz and, and, you know, I know what I can bring to the team. And, you know, like I was telling Magic, I'm just, I'm looking forward to honestly getting this first game out of the way, um, you know, so then I can start building, you know, and I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to just, you know, day by day building, building blocks, um, you know, and really trying to add layers to, you know, what we have going on. We saw you over there with Magic. What has he said about what he's expecting you to be able to contribute? Um, just, you know, just what I've, I've done throughout my career, you know, um, leadership, you know, uh, defense, rebounding, uh, finishing at the rim, and, you know, energy, um, you know, and, and this is the type of environment that it just makes that easy. You know, it, it's hard not to walk into this place and, and not want to do your job to the fullest.
Have you done any uh, finals crash talking to LeBron yet? No, no, no. Nah, nah. He he went on to win several more, so I I, I can't say nothing. He <laughs> he uh, trumps my uh, one with a whole bunch of them, man. MVPs. So I leave that talk alone. I'm happy I got the one I got.